Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my makeup collection. Prior to doing this video, I have gone and watched other YouTubers makeup collections and theirs are pretty damn impressive compared to mine. Um, mine hasn't really got a lot of like high-end products in it, it's pretty much all drugstore and I don't really have a lot of makeup but I thought it would be a fun video to do anyway because I'm nosy, I like to know what kind of products people use and I guess other people are like that too. Why else would you watch these collection kind of videos? So yes, I'm going to show you um, my makeup collection and where I keep it. Um, it's not really... It's not really that organised at the moment. I'm like a, such an organised person so it kind of breaks my heart a little bit that it's not really organised but I just don't have the room for much stuff at the moment. So I'm going to work on it. I'm going to see what I can do. But I just thought I'd show it to you now and then if I do end up getting more makeup and more storage then it'll be a fun comparison to do. So yeah, I'm just going to go straight on into the video and show you what I've got. Okay, so this is where I keep my makeup it's really dirty on here so i apologize for that um i just keep my makeup in this drawer here and then if you're interested that drawer is like uh skincare and miscellaneous and then there's underwear jeans and pajamas okay so it's really like disgusting here because but obviously i use i have makeup on my hands and something like that when i do this so that is all of my makeup. Uh, like I said, it doesn't look like a lot, I'm sure, to some people, but it's a lot to me. Okay, so these are all my lip products. Um, I'm just gonna just go through them. Like this is a color trend one. It is really old. Here I've got a double-sided benefit one. Um, so I'm with the band on this side, and on this side it is fresh squeezed. Another lip gloss that I got in a magazine. It's from Misguided. This is like my favourite one for winter time because it's like a nice berry colour. Here I've got a plumping one from Collection 2000. It's also got a bit of glitter in. I've got an MUA lipstick. This like moisturising lip gloss, lip gloss cream from Primark. 17. I think this is from 17. Yeah, this is bubblegum. Shade 6 bubblegum. A just plain old lip balm from Nivea. Got a Maybelline 14 hour. This stuff is actually really good. Um, I've got this is from a magazine. It's Benefit Coralista lip gloss. This is just like a really random unbranded lipstick. This is from like a set from even make out what the brand is. So I've got these two One Direction lipsticks from uh, Make Makeup Academy. I believe this one is Harry's one and then this pink one is Zane's. It's really bright lipstick from Primark. It's crap quality but a great colour. I've got two Rimmel Kate Moss ones. They're both nude ones. I've got a Best Lip Balm in the World which is Comet. I've got this gloss from e.l.f. which has SPF in it. Another lip balm, which is Coca-Cola. That's actually an eye product. And then another double-sided Benefit lip gloss, which we've got. Uh, this one, this side's called Kiss You, and this side is called Friends in High Places. I've got this really super glossy red lip gloss from Rimmel. And then last but not least, this is just a sentimental lipstick. I used to do dancing and uh, you had to wear like really bright lipstick and this is my first ever one. So I've had this lipstick since I was five, that's all I've got left of it. Um, I don't use it anymore because obviously it's super old and quite gross looking. But it's just, for, I just keep it for like sentimental reasons. I think it was, um, where was it from? It's really old, it's Maybelline. So it's like um, just over 15 years old this lipstick. Okay, so those are all my lip products, so I'll move on to eye stuff now. Okay, so these are all my eye products. I don't actually keep my mascaras in a container because I've got too many. So the first one I've got is just an Extreme Curl one from MUA. My second one is a Collection one, and this is just longer lash lengthening. 
This one is was a freebie from Company Magazine. This one here was also a freebie from Company Magazine. It's one of those double-ended ones. Uh, this one is from Vivo. It's a, just a normal lengthening one. This is my favourite mascara of all time. It's the collection Big Fake uh, Ultimate one. And it's just awesome. If you've never used this, I highly recommend it. And then last but not least, I've got my sample size Benefit They're Real. Next I've got my eyeshadow palettes. I've got this uh, well-loved MUA Undressed palette. And then I've got another one here, exactly the same. Just in case they ever discontinued it, I thought I'd stock up. And then this is the um, Undressed, Me, Undressed Me 2 palette, which is quite similar to this one, but I don't like it as much. This is a super old one, and I only use it because of the white in it, because I don't have a white eyeshadow. And then this is just one from Accessorize. I love the bright colours, but I'm not quite daring enough to use them, but I think they're really gorgeous to look at. Next I've got my e.l.f. beauty book. I got this for my 20th birthday a few months ago. I haven't actually used it yet. I've used the eyelid primer, but I haven't used anything else yet. But I am really looking forward to using it, as it's quite lovely to look at. Next we have eyeliner. I'll start with my favourite, which is the Super Glory... Uh, Super Glory? <laughs> Soap and Glory Super Cat Liquid Liner. This is awesome. It's absolutely brilliant. Next liquid liner I've got is a Makeup Academy one, which isn't the best liquid liner, which I loved, is this Vivo one. And then this one, which I think, yep, yeah, another liquid liner, which is from Company Magazine. And I've got this Avon Glimmer Stick, which is like a grey silvery stick. And I've got this eyeliner, which is from, I don't know, it's probably... It's probably from um, Rimmel or Maybelline or something. And it's got a smudge stick on the end, which I never use. Um, best coal pencils that I've ever tried are from Barry M. But I hardly ever use pencil wipe liners anymore. Uh, next I've got this white liner, which is from MUA. And then I've got a number 7 uh, felt tip eyeliner, which I believe is in brown. Oh, I forgot this palette. This is a NYX palette. It is incredibly glittery and absolutely beautiful. Um, I've only ever used it once, and I think I used the white and gold. Um, yes, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Never have anywhere to use it. This brow pencil from Primark, which I only bought because I wanted a spoolie brush. I think it's called a spoolie. What a weird name. Uh, yeah, so I just bought it for the spoolie because it was only a pound. I've got this eyebrow pencil from Rimmel. And this eyebrow pencil from NYX. And then this like shimmer stick, shimmer smudges from the Body Shop. And I've got a little number seven eyeshadow. I'm going to open this one because it's a loose shadow, but it's from e.l.f. Okay, so this is my basket for facey kind of stuff. Let's start with the top. I've got this W7 camouflage kit which I showed in a haul not too long ago. I've got this L'Oreal Nude Magic uh, Blur Cream which is really not that great. I really didn't get on with it at all. Next I've got a sample size professional from Benefit. Um, I don't really have too much to say on this. I wasn't that impressed just like that one. I just thought they were a bit meh. Next I've got my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, and I've got my Soap and Glory Trick and Treatment Concealer. And I like to keep them in the, some, if they've got nice boxes, I keep them in the boxes just because I like them. And I bought this the other day, I haven't used it yet. It's the Benefit Boing Concealer. I'm really excited to try this and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So I've got the 17... Uh, primer highlighter which I really really like I've got another 17 product it's their CC cream um, this is okay I think I'd rather try a BB cream but you know it's kind of average it's only drugstore you can't expect too much so I've got Rimmel Stay Matte um, mousse foot liquid mousse foundation I would like this quite a lot I like the coverage it gives and Yep, don't really have much bad to say about that. 
because I've got the room will wake me up which really doesn't have a lot left I probably should just bin it as I haven't worn it this year so it's all like kind of last year stuff something is looks like it pooped on my hand I don't know what that was um, here I've got my Rimmel Stay Matte, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in um, NW10, which is probably like the palest of pale. My last foundation I have is Rimmel Match Perfection in Soft Beige. Look how dark that is compared to the MAC. When am I ever that colour? I'm never that colour. That I am so wrong for the Rimmel Match Perfection. I've broken up. Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzer, which I haven't even used this summer because I've been using the 17 Instant Glow, which is pretty good. Then I've got an e.l.f. Baked Blush, which is just gorgeous. I love baked stuff. And then I've got my last powder, which is a number 7 uh, translucent powder. Okay, so that is all of my makeup. I'm really interested to see how my collection is going to grow over the next year or so. And I'll just show you my brushes really quickly. Okay, so these are my brushes. Yes, they are dirty at the moment. I'm probably going to wash them today or tomorrow, depending on how much time I have. I've got a really random selection. Most of them are cheap ones. Um, I've got a MAC 11, no, a MAC 129 here. And I've got the pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques. The whatever this one's called, contour brush from Real Techniques, um, this is the, what's it called, buffing brush, Real Techniques, and then the, um, the little one, whatever it's called, detailer brush from Real Techniques. And I've got four e.l.f. brushes here, I've got two of each, I've got a defining eye brush, which is kind of slanted, and then I've got a blending eye brush. I've got a Barry M slanted one for liquid oh, gel liner, sorry. These ones here are actually really old. I think they're from the body shop. And then these ones are just really old, cheap, nasty ones. I'm working on getting some more, but it's a pretty slow process for someone like me. But yeah, these are just so cheap and the hairs are always coming out and like getting in my eye and stuff like that. So these ones I like, those ones not so much. Okay guys, so that is the end of my makeup collection. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and you know, leave a comment below if you have any recommendations for products or you would like me to give you a more thorough review on a product. I'd be really happy to do that if I can. And yeah, also leave a comment if you've got other video ideas for me. I'd really love to hear them. And I'll see you guys in my next video.